Okay, welcome to this week's pricing. Where there is a minor surprise, um, I would say it's a pleasant surprise, but let's not let them off the hook just yet. So the main focus for today is going to be on Warhammer Quest, Curse City, Night Wars. So we're going to cover that at the back. If, this, if all you're here for is that, then move towards the end of the video um, and we'll catch up on that there. So we're going to quickly run through the rest of the pricing first, along with anything else that was announced. So we're starting off with Blood Bowl and we'll have a quick look at the new Amazon team, which I think looks really cool indeed. Now there's obviously lots of other releases to go with this, so all of the associated products and that kind of thing. But basically the Amazon team itself is going to be £31.50 or €40, Euros, um, which is, you know, that is standard Blood Bowl pricing, nothing changes there. Associated products to go with that release is the dice set. That's £12.50 or €14.50. Euros We've got the new edition of the Spike Journal. That's issue 15. That's a tenner or €12. Euros. The card pack, £17.50 or €22.5. Euros. And then the pitch and dugouts. That's £30 or €40. Euros. Now, for me, Blood Bowl, when it first came out, or not, not when it first came out, when the 2016 edition came out it was priced absolutely perfectly and um, really really well priced really competitive pricing then when the second edition came out that core box i think is a terrific value it really truly is but now collecting anything but the teams for me is just folly uh, way too expensive even the card packs i don't get any more because all of that stuff appears in the second edition rule book that came with that core set but I will definitely be picking up the Amazon team. They look really, really awesome. Now, there was three new star players announced, but they're going to be Forge World exclusives. Um, so no pricing on those. But yeah, they all look good, especially the Snake. Okay, moving on to 40k. Just one release, but it is a good one. Space Marine Heroes 2022 Blood Angels Collection 1. That's £40 or €52. Euros. Next up, we've got Warcry and just one release for that, and that is the standalone release for the core book. They're quite interesting, really. So this is £30 or €40, Euros, which, you know, it's, it's, it's enough for a softback book. It actually puts it in at a cheaper price than the Kill Team core book. Um, so not sure why that would be. Potentially, you know, is there dwindling sales for Warcry at the moment with the new edition, something like that. But yeah, that is coming slightly cheaper than the Kill Team equivalent. £30 and €40. Euros. Warcry, the Horus Heresy. So we've got a couple of small releases, but this is Forge World only, so there's no pricing. And it's basically just a bunch of upgrade packs. This includes Space Wolves and World Eaters and a few others. But yeah, so those are going to be out on Friday. Okay, next on to the Black Library. So we've got a couple of releases here. Uh, we've got the paperback version of Curse City, that's going to be eight ninety nine or twelve euros fifty. Now that obviously won't include the special character that came in the hardback edition of the book, um, but yeah, that is standard price and certainly for softback or paperback books. There's also Empire at War, that's fifteen pounds or twenty euros, and Rogal Dawn, the Emperor's Crusader, that's twelve pounds ninety nine or fifteen euros ninety five. It's also what they're calling Crime Week over on Warhammer Community. So there's going to be five different stories released this week. I'm assuming they're going to be free on the Warhammer Community website. I'm not sure if this is going to be paid for or not. I certainly hope it's free because these are very short stories apparently. So, uh, But I look forward to those. Hopefully they'll be good. Okay, then finally, just before we get to Night Wars, we have got a few Christmas releases. So no, no pricing for this merch or anything like that, but the Chibi's calendar is coming back, along with a whole host of other things, some pin badges, another calendar, some artwork, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, Warhammer Quest Curse City Night Wars. So just before we move on to that, just a little reminder that the Curse City core box is now a full line. So this is a... A full line within Games Workshop. Uh, it's not a print order or anything like that. The pricing hasn't changed. £125 or €155. Euros. Now for Night Wars, I posed a question a few weeks ago when the expansion got announced. Did you like your idea 
of this new expansion. So it came out without any models and was just going to be the core kind of paper items within the box. Um, so as you can see, most people said yes. If you actually take the yeses and nos, it works out to 81% yes and 19% no. Now, it's always very difficult looking at polls like that because when you talk about pricing and Games Workshop, there's a pretty negative reaction in almost all the cases. People don't like paying the high prices or the premium prices for these products. But anyway, let's get on to the pricing. Okay, Curse City Night Wars will come in at £30 or €40. Euros. Now, I was surprised at this price. This price is lower than I thought it would be. Um, there has been recent releases that have come out where the price has been slightly lower than I expected it it to be so examples of that would be um, a good example of that would be kill team into the dark i did expect it to be a higher price um, than it than it actually came out for but let me say i don't think the price of this product was always scheduled to be 30 pounds or 40 euros i think it was scheduled to be higher than that but i think that was a there was a very very negative reaction to the idea of this set coming out at a with, with no models in it i think the reaction to that was very very bad for games workshop and i think that the pricing they've given us here is a reaction to that they knew that it wasn't going to go down very well so just as a brief reminder if you didn't see my previous video <laughs> this is what you have to spend if you want to get all those models to play this expansion it's 126 pounds 213 dollars 50 or 163 euros now you do not have to buy these models you do not have to buy all the models to go with this release now here's all the models required for that expansion so i say required you do not have to use these you really don't i am um, i will be printing some standees to proxy for the models in this game I might, if they turn out nice, I might create a little video showing you how to make your own. Um, but yeah, to play this expansion for a game which isn't, you know, is not as good as its predecessor, Blackstone Fortress, I'm not spending that money on all those models. I will be certainly making my own standees and going from there. I'll leave you today with a prediction. I predict that this type of expansion for Curse City is not gone. I believe that at least one of these models will appear in the next expansion. Um, I think that the, the sheer cock-up with the release of Curse City meant that they didn't think that there was a future for the game. So they started to release all the models separately and they are just reneging on what they thought would happen. And I believe that all some, at least, of these models that we can see here will certainly appear in future expansions. So there you go, like it or not, that is the pricing. I'm undecided myself where I'm gonna be picking it up. I'm, I'm almost certain I will be, so if I get that from Element Games, I'll get it for about 25 pounds, 24 pounds, something like that. So I think I will be picking it up. Um, if you're thinking of picking it up as well, please consider getting it from Element Games and use the affiliate link in the description. It will help me out very, very slightly, but it won't cost you a penny more. So I will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all very, very soon. Make sure you remember to subscribe and all that good stuff. See you later.